for the Angeles family, Mr. Angeles' homecoming from his periodic inspection trips was always an occasion for celebration. But this homecoming from a trip to the South was fated to be more memorable than any of the others. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. Nana Emilia read the letter that morning, and again, and again, every time she had a chance to leave the kitchen. Hi, Hi everyone. I'm Brownie. Hi, What's hello. your name? My name is Debbie. And how about you? My name is Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, we're home. <laughs> I have just met a marvelous mat weaver, a real artist, and I shall have a surprise for you. I asked him to weave a sleeping mat for every one of the family. He is using many different colors, and for each mat, the dominant color is that of our respective birthstones. I am sure that the children will be very pleased. I know you will be. I can hardly wait to show them to you. Your beloved Jaime. Yay! I'm so excited for the mat. I'm so excited for dad to come home. What would my mat look like? I bet my mat will be beautiful as me. I'm looking forward for my mat. Oh, are you all excited? Yes! Dear Jaime, Thank you for the mat. Your children were so happy and excited. Your beloved, Emilia. Finally, from Lopez, Mr. Angeles wrote again. You know what, children? I received another letter from your father, and I'll read it for you. Dear Emilia, I am taking the Beagle Express tomorrow. I have the mats with me, and they are beautiful. God willing, I shall be home to join you at dinner. Your beloved, Hailey. Oh, how I love the feel of mats. I like the smell of new mats. Oh, but these mats are different. They have our names woven into them. But my name is too long. How on earth are they going to fit all the letters of my name in my mat? 
Don't worry, Marcelina. I think they will do something about it. I do hope so. The children knew what they were talking about. They knew just what a decorative mat was like. It was not anything new or strange in their experience. That was why they were so excited about the matter. They had such a mat in the house, one they seldom used, a mat older than any one of them. This mat had been given to Nana Emilia by her mother when she and Mr. Angeles were married, and it had been with them ever since. It was a very beautiful mat, not really meant to be ordinarily used. In the middle, running the whole length of the mat, was the lettering, Emilia e Jaime Recuerdo. Most of the time, the mat was kept in Nana Emilia's trunk, and when it was taken out and spread on the floor, the children were always around to watch. At first, there had been only Nana Emilia to see the mat spread, then a child, a girl, watched with them. The number of watchers increased as more children came. The mat did not seem to age. It seemed to Nana Emilia always as new as when it had been laid on the nuptial bed. To the children, it seemed as new as the first time it was spread before them. The folds and creases always new and fresh. The smell was always the smell of a new mat. Watching the intricate design was an endless joy. The children's pleasure of the golden letters, even before they could work out the meaning, was boundless. Somehow, they were always pleasantly shocked by the sight of the mat, so delicate and so consummate, the artistry of its weave. Now, taking out that mat to spread had become a kind of ritual. The process had become associated with illness in the family. Illness, even serious illness, had not been infrequent. There had been deaths. Papa, tell us about your trip. My trip to the south has been very exciting. I have seen wonderful places which I love all of you to see too. Wow, we want to go there too. I'm so excited, Papa. But I could not sleep at night thinking of the young ones. They should never be allowed to play in the streets. And you older ones. You should not stay out at night. The story spittered out and dinner was over. Putting away the dishes and wiping the dishes and wiping the table clean did not at all seem tedious. Yet Nana and the children, although they did not show it, were all on edge about the mats. Thank you. 
Juana, can you hand me the scissors? These are the mats, Milin. This, I believe, is yours, Milin. This is really beautiful. I really love it. This, I believe, is my own. And this, I believe, is yours, Marcelina. I'm happy that my name are spelled on the mat. And there's lyre on it. Thank you, Papa. I'm glad you loved it. I intentionally requested it to put it there, since you're a student of music. And this is for you, Josefa. Thank you for this, Papa. You are not to use that map until the year of your internship in your medical school. Okay, Papa. And this is for you, Juana. Thank you, Papa. And this is for you, Susana. Thank you, Papa. And this is for you, Antonia. Thank you, Papa. Remember, you're not allowed to use these mats until you go to your university. Okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Oh, this is so beautiful. Mine is beautiful too. Mine too. Look. Thank you, Father. But Jaime, there are some more mats. Yes, Emilia. There are three more mats to unfold. The ones who are not here. You know, Jaime, you didn't have to. What do you mean I didn't have to? Do you really think I forgot them? Do you really think I could forget them? No. I think it is good for us to just move on. Move on from what? Move on from what's keeping you from moving on. No. Don't you dare say that. You should never forget them. This is for Victoria, Sefina, and Concepcion. No, don't. Please, Jaime, don't. Why? Is it fair to forget them? Would it be just to disregard them? Well, I am not like you who just forgets our children that passed away. As if they did not even exist. You don't know what I'm feeling, so don't act like you're the only one hurting. Really? It seems like you just forgot them. Do you still love them? Have you ever loved them? Don't you ever question my love for them, because when they died, almost a part of me went with them. Jaime, not only one, but three of our children have passed away. I've carried those children for nine months. So if you're hurting, twice of that is what I feel. Their memory still remains in my mind. And it still hurts until now. But we still have other children left. We have Marcelina, Josefa, Antonia, Juana, and Susana. I have to be strong for them. I need to keep going for our children who are left, but that doesn't mean that I already forgotten about our deceased children. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near. 
still loved, still missed, and held so dear. Josefina, Victoria, Concepcion, we promise you that we will take care of our parents. Thank you for the memories that we've been together. You will always be part in our lives. Even though the three of you are gone, we will never forget you. We've always treasured you, and we're so blessed to have you as our children.